Hello, how's it going? This is another video to beat boredom. This is my newfound hobby, something that I, I love a lot now. It's uh, baking, and today we're going to be making a crispy cob loaf, which is pretty much normal bread, normal, normal white bread. And it's Paul Hollywood's recipe. To make this yourself, you will need 500 grams of strong white bread flour, 40 grams of soft butter, two teaspoons of salt, two sachets of fast action dried yeast, 300 milliliters of tepid warm water, a little bit of olive oil or sunflower oil, and some cold water for steaming. Step one, wash your hands. Step two, add the flour and the butter to a bowl, and then add the yeast to one side of the bowl and the salt to the other side of the bowl, because the salt will kill the yeast if it has direct contact. And then of course mix it together. Step three, add half of the water and turn the mixture with your fingers. Continue to add little bits of water until all the flour is gone from the sides. You want a well combined mixed, but not sticky. Keep going until you get a rough dough. Step four, grease a table with one teaspoon of oil. Usually you do use flour, but you can use oil. It's apparently a, it's something I learned when I was looking at this recipe. You can use oil as well, which uh, I'm not sure what the difference is, but you can. And then you need to fold the far edge of the dough into the middle, turn it a quarter of the way around, and repeat and do this several times. Step five, knead the dough for four to five minutes. This stretches the gluten to make the dough more elastic. And I might actually be doing it wrong here. I've, I've spoken to a baker in the family, and he said I might have done it wrong from what he heard of what I did, so I might have done it wrong. But we'll see how it turns out. Step six, put the dough into the cleaned bowl, place a damp cloth on top and leave to prove. This lets the yeast double in size with the dough and leave it for about an hour. Step seven, line a baking tray with baking parchment and it specifically says don't use greaseproof paper. Uh, although I don't know what the difference is, I've always believed that they are the sort of the same thing with slight differences, but that's what it says. Step eight, shape the dough. Step nine, place the dough on a tray and cover with a damp tea towel again. And leave for about an hour to prove, and while you're doing this, preheat the oven to 220 degrees. Step 10, sprinkle and then rub some flour on top, and then cut a diamond pattern on top of the dough. Step 11, place into the oven for 30 minutes, and this is where you pour the cold water into the tin at the bottom, because this will make steam and give you a nice crust. Step 12, remove from the oven if the bottom sounds hollow when you knock it and leave to cool on a wire rack. And that's important because if you cut into it now, the steam will all turn to moisture and it'll make the bread inside really soggy. And there we are, there's the crispy cob loaf done. Uh, there are obviously other types of bread, and loads of different things you can do with dough. Uh, but this is the one I've done for now. Uh, if you do this yourself, please send me some pictures and all that sort of stuff. And tell me if you've done anything different with the crispy cob loaf. Uh, I will tell you from this is the future. I will tell you that I did use too much salt, so I did it again another time, and I used about one and a half teaspoons. That was a little bit less. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to cut into this now. We're going to try it. So let's have a little try. Yep, it's still quite nice. You can sort of taste the salt a little bit still, uh, but the crust is very nice at the end, and I will tell you now that this will be very nice toasted, because it's that sort of bread that would be nice toasted. Okay, and like I said, this is one way to beat boredom. So if you want to try and make some bread, let me know how it goes, if it turns out horrible. And I will say, don't leave to proof for too long, because it will, like, become a monster. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, let me show me some pictures if you do, and let me know how it goes out with just a comment or anything like that. But that's it. So I'm going to go now eat my bread, and I shall say goodbye. Goodbye.